Hello guys, it's Franco here from my IT and cybersecurity journey, and I've done it again. I passed the class in four hours. Class, what class am I talking about? You might ask. Network and security foundations. Um, this class was so easy, really, really easy. Um, there are some great resources out there for this class. This class just kind of piggybacks off of pretty much every class you've taken before this. Um, it piggybacks heavily off of CompTIA+, Plus, piggybacks heavily off of Information Security Foundation, uh, or the principles. Um, yeah, uh, it piggybacks heavily off of Fundamentals of Information Security, and it kind of touches on the Network Plus and the Security Plus. So again, this was done in four hours. This was a really simple class. Um, what did I use to pass it so quickly? Oh, so, sorry, I'm with the wrong one. This is a Network Plus. So, in regards to this class, Network and Security Foundations, C172. The main resources which helped me out the most personally, always go to Reddit. My main tip, if you don't know what to do or how to start, go on Reddit, look up your course name, WGU Reddit. Just like that. So, First thing, it should be the first link right here. This person, you geek girls are fun. They have a study guide. And I'm, I'm going to make this video short and simple because I don't have a lot of time. Um, and I want to kind of... So, this whole study guide, took notes over it, watched the videos included in, included in this study guide. And, yeah, made things so much easier. Second thing, in my free time, when I want to do some hacking, go on tryhackme.com. Top eight percent. So I've done. I've done a lot. I've done a lot on here. Um, there's a lot on here. Um, as you can see, I. I literally. I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about it. But it just so happened that I. I was at the point in Try Hack Me where I was doing introductory networking and in Try Hack Me. Um, that tied in exactly with what I was doing in uh, C172. So do some try hack me, try to do some networking courses on hack the box, whatever is free. Um, use it. So that's all I did. This try hack me. Although I believe you have to pay for this, but or I don't know, but I, th I don't know if this is free or not. But I, I pay like eight bucks a month with WGU. With WGU, you get a discount. Um, so you might as well just do it. Sign up to try hack me. Um, you get a discount for hack the box, so you get a fat discount, and you get credits to the ICS squared. Um, or ISC squared uh, certification or exam you can actually pass your ISC squared exam I believe just by doing hack the box boxes um, so yeah I did the complete uh, I'm doing this one the pre-security pathway and intro to cyber security pathway and then there's a lot I mean this is like these three courses in total are like 60 hours of content um, but yeah network exploitation basics that's what I was doing the study guide, um, the videos in the study guide, and, you know, just because I'm really interested in security, just self-researching and, you know, me messing around with things and on-the-job training uh, just really made this a really easy exam. It was not that hard. Um, it was really easy, and I expect the Network Plus. I'm trying to knock that out within a month, hopefully less. Um, another thing. I don't know if you guys follow me on LinkedIn. This is my page. If you want to go ahead and follow me. But what I suggest you go and do right now for security, go to, uh, I don't know if you guys know who Heath What's Adams is. What's up, everybody? He's the cyber mentor. Go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to link it down below. He is uh, an ethical hacker. He is a great resource in the cybersecurity community. And today, from today until April 19th, he has made his course free. His pen, uh, practical ethical hacking course, which trains you for a, a certification he provides, which is uh, accredited, um, he just made it free. So go ahead and check this out, because I mean, this is I mean, he he is just awesome, man. Um, he provides invaluable, 
invaluable videos to the community. I mean, here, I mean, you can see here, he just has hacking videos, learn web app, web app pen testing, how to hack MFA. Uh, I mean, man, and he's been growing his team. I mean, I, I love this guy. Um, I really do. So check it out. I'll link this down below. I mean, 25 hours of ethical hacking, practical ethical hacking, all for free. And you can use this for certification in the future, which will get you help you get a penetration testing job. So do with that what you will. I thought I'd just add that in there. Like I said, this video is going to be very short. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well. I know I have. You know, I I think I'm on track to you know get the 50% within my first term. Um, my goal is to try to finish the school in two terms. So far, I'm you know I've got about three and a half months left, and I'm 34% done in my term in in this term. So I'm pretty confident in myself that I'll get myself to 50%. Um, I think the biggest roadblock is this course, the Network Plus, and the Project Plus. I'm not worried about the Security Plus because I know it's easy. Um, it's just a load of baloney. Um, the Security Plus, unfortunately, is one of the worst exams out there. I will say this right now. I don't care how much crap I get for it. Um, that just regurgitates security principles in CompTIA's own proprietary language. So you're quite literally, you know, retesting over topics that the industry are uh, already practices, but you're just taking an exam in CompTIA's language, which nobody uses. Um, so I've heard a lot of criticism about the Security Plus, but it's useful. Um, it's useful because the security can help you get a security clearance, which gets you in with the government, which means you're in GovTech and you get big money. Um, and I'll be talking more about that when I, you know, I'm at that level, which I will be. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, like I said, quick and short video. Hope you guys have been doing good. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment with feedback. I hope I've been knowledgeable to y'all. And um, yeah, you guys have a good night. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.